I do. He's wonderful. Picks, picks up where I leave off. Thank you. And he's not my husband. No. People have accused me of that. <laughs> no, no. No. He's very happily married. I'm very happily married. Let's welcome Pat Hanna. Frankly, I'm just glad nobody's ever called me her dad. <laughs> and I have to start off with an apology because I, as I was sitting down there, I realized I totally forgot to comb my hair. <laughs> oh, music. I'm so glad to see all you people out here to enjoy music. Music is a big part of what I've been about for a long time. Music is a really important social phenomenon for throughout history, throughout human history. It was bound our societies together, it, songs that we could sing to end the drudgery of, of repetitive tasks when they were out in the field. Minstrels, do it. people that do what Roy and I are up here doing tonight were people that traveled around and sang the news and sang the stories that uh, in, in the small towns everywhere. And that's kind of what I'm a, what I'm, I'm about here. I'm going to play a song here that's a 21st century, 10th century song. It's a song that I wrote that is styled on an old pre-medieval tavern song. It's about a knight who libido gets a little bit of the best of him. It's not detuned. There was a knight from Pelhamshire, and Sir Gregory was his name. Champion of the tournaments, and far was spread his fame. A captain in the cavalry, he led the royal guard. He saved the life of our good king, and great was his reward. And great was his reward, the Lord of Morley Castle. And fell him by the sea, a brave and a bold man was Sir Gregory. the lovely Elsinore, and she bore him two fine sons, and a fair and comely daughter before that she was done. And the years and babes, they took their toll and stole her youth away. And Gregory, that manly man, well, he soon began to stray. He soon began to stray, the lord of Morley Castle, and fell him by the sea. A lusty and a horny man was Sir Gregory. A maid there was in Pelham Town, and her name was Mandy Lee. A waitress at the Baron board, and her charms were plain to see. She trysted with Sir Gregory, and he brought her gold and lace. And word soon spread through Pelham Town of Elsinore's disgrace, of Elsinore's disgrace by the Lord of Morley Castle. And Pelham by the sea, a lusty and a horny man was Sir Gregory. Now Elsinore stole into town to speak with Mandy Lee. Surprised they were to find that on most things they did agree. Mandy begged forgiveness and swore to set things right. And with a twinkle in her eyes, she said, I'm meeting him tonight. I'm meeting him tonight, the Lord of Morley Castle. And fell him by the sea, unknowing and a doomed man was Sir Gregory. That night the Lord rode into town and straight to Mandy's place. And he swept her up into his arms, the old veil was across her face. And as he searched among her charms, the veil she did talk. You filthy swine, cried Elsa, or I'll cut your bollocks off. I should cut your bollocks off. The Lord of Morley Castle and fell him by the sea, a surprised and confused. 
Exit Man was Sir Gregory. Now Gregory and Elsinore, well, they lived a good long time. And o'er the years that faithful knight did ne'er repeat his crimes. For Elsinore took Mandy Lee to be her faithful maid. And under their most watchful eye that night no more could stray. Sir Gregory ne'er did stray, the lord of Morley Castle, and fell him by the sea. Chastened in a wiser man, a good and faithful husband, a brave and a bold man was Sir Gregory. Enjoy. One of the things I enjoy about that song is that it starts out all of the women's eyes getting the mirror. Like this guy. But by the end of the song, all of the women are smiling and the guys are looking at me a little uncomfortable. So. <laughs> uh, you know, things are so dysfunctional in our government and country these days. And I'm firmly convinced that the reason for that is because way too many of us have abrogated our civic responsibility to really pay attention to what's going on. And in, thank you. And instead, too many of us have latched on to some talking head or another that we let explain to us how the world is and it allows us to not hold our representatives feet to the fire and say, you know, well, you said you were gonna do this, but you didn't. Or you said you were gonna do this and you did it and look what happened. But you have to be paying attention for those things to happen. And I think a lot of times people aren't. And this song actually goes out to Bradley. I don't know who you are, but I know you're here and you know who you are. And we talked about this song earlier today. The song about opinions and making up your own mind is called I've Got Mine. Well, I've never been to heaven and I've never been to hell. Never reached nirvana, at least not so as I could tell. Nobody's ever been there, but folks talk about it all the time. They got their opinion, and I've got mine. And I turned on the radio, heard Dr. Laura giving advice. She seems to care about the problems, but she don't treat them very nice. Well, I saw some pictures on the internet, and she was nude and looking pretty fine. Yeah, Dr. Laura's got advice. Well, I've got mine. I've got all the answers to every question you can think up under the sun. Just make out a list of your problems, and I'll solve them one by one. And they'll work for me, but if it works for you, well, there's no way I can tell. Most times things work out better if you do the thinking for yourself. We got a big old national debt. It's 18 trillion and on the rise. Got me thinking that our kids are in for one hell of a surprise. But Congress says we need a tax cut so I can keep more of what's mine. They got their economic policies. Well, I've got mine. Now, old Rush Limbaugh, he's a star on radio. Says if you're not a conservative, you're a brainwashed so-and-so. And the ditto heads are all agreeing. They call his telephone line. Yeah, Rush does their thinking. Well, I do mine. And I got all the answers, every question you can think up under the sun. Just make out a list of your problems and I'll solve them one by one. And it'll work for me, but if it works for you, well, there's no way I can tell. Most times things work 
out better if you do the thinking for yourself. Well, the media today use polls to see up. Whoops. Well, the media turns to pollsters to see what people think today. But people think's an oxymoron, like half truth and NSA. And it's so much easier to just nod your head and go along. You probably won't even notice if it turns out they were wrong. Plus, people these days, they don't have time to use their brain to find out what's going on. They need someone they trust to explain. And there's a thousand talking heads to help you make up your mind. They got informed sources. Well, I've got mine. And I've got all the answers to every question you could think up under the sun. Just make me a list of your problems, and I'll solve them one by one. And it'll work for me, but if it works for you, well, there's no way I can tell. I found things tend to work out better if you do the thinking for yourself. Well, I've never been to heaven, and I've never been to hell. Never reached nirvana, least not so as I can tell. And nobody's ever been there, but folks talk about it all the time. They got their religion, and I've got mine. They got their answers, and I've got mine. They got their opinion, and I've got mine. Thank you. We got the idea for this next song. Well, I'd been wanting to do what's called a talking blues since I was heard a talking blues song on a second Peter, Paul, and Mary album when I was about 15. And that was back in 19. Uh, and uh, I finally, finally had to do it when my 76 year old mother who was flying from Tulsa down here to visit us was subjected to the special uh, treatment at the uh, airport and I was thinking you know who are they letting on the plane while well, they were like searching my 76 year old mother anyway after some thought about that I finally came up with a song it's called Airport Security Blues. <laughs> I'd fly out and visit my sister Talk about security Well, I'll tell you, mister You better get there early If you want to catch your flight on time Had to stop at the gate Where they searched my car And I saw guys with guns Before I got far And I was getting a little nervous By the time I reached the ticket line Then I had to go through the security scan And I got in line behind a woman And a man with a baby and a stroller looked at me just about two. The guy searched the bags and then the stroller. He looked under the baby, even checked his diaper. Then he smiled and nodded his head and he waved him on through. Well, I emptied my pockets in the little tray and stepped through the line just to hear the man say, please step back. And I knew that something had gone terribly wrong Cause in a pocket I'd forgotten Attached to my keys was a Swiss Army knife With some scissors and tweezers And a tiny little blade about a half an inch long Regular weapon of mass destruction mm -hmm. But I was starting to feel a little ill at ease When he grabbed my arm and said Come with me And he led me away to a little room Where it was quiet as a church where they turned out my pockets and patted down my clothes. They took off my shoes and they peered up my nose and then someone said, Look why we better do a cavity search. 
I said, what kind of a search? You gotta be kidding. But they weren't. Mm. Well, they poked and they prodded, but they didn't find much but the wax in my ears and yesterday's lunch and my manhood, such as it was, and I was beginning to get depressed. They said, one more thing so we know without a doubt, we need to give you a laxative to flush your system out. And they did the grisly deed and told me I could go get dressed. Well, they got the results back around midnight. They told me I was clean. I said, you got that right. They handed me my stuff and told me I was free to go. But my flight had left a long time back, and since I was in the middle of a panic attack, I decided to get in my car and just go on home. Well, I call up my sister, said, I'm not coming out. I got a lot on my mind, some issues to work out, but I'll be sure to call you on the phone so we can talk. Cause I won't get on a bus or ride the train. I won't go on the subway, forget about a plane. From now on, I'm not going anywhere. I can't just walk. I'm staying far away from security scans. Federal buildings, public schools, Basketball games, rock concerts, hell, Disneyland. <laughs> Come to think of it, I think I'll just stay home. Thank you very much. That one goes out to you, Brad, wherever you are. They are gonna get exciting now. This is a song that I haven't performed in public for over 10 years. because so I had some problems with my hands and I couldn't play the guitar part. And I figured out that if I put this, if I use a capo, I have to sing it higher, but I can sing it higher, but I can actually play the notes on the guitar, I think. We're gonna find out. It's another blues song, actually. At least it's got blues in the name. It's not really very bluesy. This is called Depleted Ozone Layer Blues. Sky. And all the folks around me were starting to run And I asked a lady passing by, hey, what's happening? She said, brother, ain't you heard the news? We got the sunburn, melanoma, chlorophora, carbon depleted ozone layer of blues She said it all got started back in the industrial revolution And the fumes from your family car The way we build our conditioners and the way we cut the forest down year after year And the fumes from about a hundred billion Disposable aerosol cans They noticed it first down at the South Pole But now it spread all the way to New Orleans And then she grabbed out a bottle of 137 sunscreen And spread it from her head to her shoes To block off those sunburn, melanoma, chlorophore, carbonage, depleted ozone layer blues Don't let me down, fingers
I asked if we could save this situation to find some way to put things straight. She said, hey, change the coolant in your refrigerator and carpool with a buddy before it's too late and use a pump instead of a spray can. While you're at it, plant a tree or two. You might stop those sunburned melanoma chlorofluorocarbonide depleted ozone layer blues, or at least slow down those sunburned melanoma chlorofluorocarbonide depleted ozone layer blues. so much so close and yet so far I'm gonna get out of here now they're gonna open up the kitchen and everybody in the kitchen everybody from the front gate they're all gonna come in we're all gonna enjoy the show let's please welcome Roy Zimmerman 